Hello, good afternoon and welcome. A lovely sunny day in West Sussex. It's nice to be able to say that again after all this time. It's a little bit chilly, but it is uh, it is a lovely sunny day. Almost too bright, as you can see if you look at the picture. My right, my left side, this side, yep, yeah, is, is rather well lit, even though I've got the blinds down in the workshop. I'll bring Keith in, because surprise, good surprise, afternoon. he's my yeah. earworm. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. Yeah, I can confirm it. The, the sun is out. It's a little bit overcast again now, but it was out just now when he spoke. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're bright sunshine down here in yeah. Paul Runner. We're only a few, no. few, a few miles away, but it's it's been a lovely, yeah, it's been a lovely no. day so far. The sun is out, but it's not as bright as it was a little bit earlier. Yep, the bins out the front were steaming this morning. It was the sun was that warm, yeah. with all the rain that we'd had. So <laughs> mm. good, okie doke. Right, well, I'll um. Put you back into the background, Keith. Where I belong. Yeah, oh, thank you. Oh, oh, excuse me. There we go. Right, and let's talk about what we're going to do. We're going to be turning. I'll put it on an overhead view because I'm going to be turning the outside first. That piece of, of, of Burr you that you saw on, on the uh, the thumbnail sketch on YouTube, It's it looks as though it should be a very interesting piece of timber to turn. I think that's all I can say about it, really. We will find out as we go along exactly what it looks like, but it should be quite stunning, I think. So, gather me tools together. I'm going to try my big roughing gouge. I haven't used this very much, but um, it's, as you can see, it's, it's a good size. I think that light is going to be too much, isn't it? Doesn't make any difference. Oh, it is a little bit on there. A little bit, yeah. No, I'll leave yeah, that off then. Yeah, as long yeah. as you can it's, see, we can, we can, it's, uh, we can it's, guess. It's, it's just strange because the sunlight's coming in the windows and I'm standing in the way. So mm. effectively in my shadow from that. But, um, but you no, need I it, I, you need it. Yeah, I think I'll be all right. We'll see how we go. Mm. If there's any so fingers come flying off, it's not that far for me to drive. Just, I was going to say, can you just catch them for me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm just going to turn this around. So while Andy's uh, getting his act together and getting this in the round, uh, I'll go through and let everyone know who's in, including Andy. So the first one was Andy himself, who was uh, impatient this morning, followed closely by Lawrence Fugasia, Rob at Copper Owl, and then it was me, Chris Dodds, Jennifer's Craft and Creations, Paul Hyten, Bruce Turner, Tommy's Workshop, Doug Miller, Robert Dolman, Terry Hooper, Greg Alexander, all creeping in now, the Linnykins, Hello, Lynn. from a Sunny Crawley. No butt plugs today, I'm afraid. Yeah, uh, Benjamin's in. Hello, old people. Hello, Ben. What a miserable, <laughs> what a miserable get, isn't he? Hey, <laughs> Jay's cabin is in. Rob CP. Uh, Clint at Wood oh, Dancers. Twisted peat trees. Hello, Pete. That looks like it's all of you. If I've missed anyone, huge apologies. But, uh, put your name back in with an oil you've missed me. And exactly the same as normal. Any questions? A couple of question marks, and I will read it out. And let's see if we can uh, answer it between all of us. Siddley 61 has just uh, woken up and joining us. So welcome to you all. Going to have to do some work on the bevel on this, I think. Go over to my smaller one. Wants a bit more bevel, does it? I don't. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not comfortable with it at the moment. Right. Let's see how the little one goes. This one I've just sharpened, so I know it's good and sharp. It 
could be the timber, of course. Looks like Alison's crept in while I didn't. Uh, while I was looking at something else. Oh, she said Hi, she left it all on. Left it all on for her. She said she was going to watch. Right. Till she goes out. Okay. And the question that's come in is, what's Andy making? Of well, he was a bit mean. He wasn't. He hasn't said anything yet, but it is going to be a vase. We said it on the description, sir. Yeah. <laughs> and Christine yeah. and Michael joined us from down on the coast, down at Salesy Way. Hello, Christine and Michael. So I've just realised I haven't got my safety glasses on, so I should do that. Have you covered the keyboards? I've just, just covered it. I, yep. sh I shook off all the bits that landed on it up to that <laughs> point. <laughs> oh, gosh. We do have I'll get it all right. It, <laughs> <laughs> Can't get it all right. So for those of you that watched us last week with the uh, the t the twins being born this is from the same tree so it will be a hard turn because it's full up with little knots. But it should look quite stunning once it's there. Not letting me get any more speed than this. <coughs> it's out right. of balance. We've got an hour. Yeah, yeah. It just, it just cuts easier, doesn't it? Mm. Well, that's that's better. Up to twelve hundred. That'll do. That's better. Brent B. Cross joined us. Hello, Brent. Moving a bit closer. Still quite a long way to go. It's cutting all right though. You Not bad. The, well, that's a bit rough. The peppy in there, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's plenty of that. I'm pleased to say. Just pick my calipers up. Just fell on the floor. Andrew from Wivey's Woodsheds in. Hello, Andrew. So you have 32 watching you. That's not bad for a few minutes in. Eight minutes in, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Don't talk and uh, eat no. chips at the same time, no. So at the moment, it's just nice it is. Everyone's saying hello to each other. Right. And Tommy's lost his pencil. So God knows what he's going to do now. Spend the rest of the hour on his hands and knees looking for it, I would think. Yeah, I've got a spare mm. one, Tommy, if you want it. Yeah, I've got an odd one down here if you need it, if you're desperate. In my pencil pot, what I turned... Jennifer's on a mission. She's getting in there early. Don't forget the thumbs up, guys. Thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, Thank you very much. It's a top of it with this. Oh, stop moaning. Get on with it. Yeah, I'm not moaning. I'm just, 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 <laughs> just, just, just a comment. 
it's living up to expectations, I think, is what I can say about it. Good. How prevalent is you over there, Clint asks us. Um, it's fairly easy to come by. It is patchy. We seem to get quite a lot of it down here between the downs, the north and south downs. Um, it has areas where it doesn't like growing too much. And it has areas where it's quite good. Yes, I think it must like clay because there's a lot of clay around here and we've got a lot of yew trees. Yeah, but it also likes the chalk from the South Downs. It does seem to, doesn't it? Yeah. 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 Um, you will pick up a load of um, the ores within the ground and that changes its colour. So a very light or um, you quite often off of chalk whereas this was growing on sandstone loam so quite a dark one so michael McEwen's joined us and pete's the same as uh, whoever it was can't find a pencil when he's looking for one <laughs> Perhaps I better make another pencil pot. Show people how to make one. Mm. I think that I think that was the four-sided one, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Yeah. Nearly round. Watkins is joining us all the way from sunny Spain. Well, I'm hoping it's sunny out there. Very welcome, Brian. Did I say hi to Terry Hooper? If I didn't, he's in. I, I don't think he did. A uh... bit remiss if I missed him, as he's a cl fellow club member. Yes. Hello, saying, Terry. They knew from Cornwall can have lots of arsenic and other nasty surprises. Well, any tree can have um, pick up bits and pieces like that. So you can't always guarantee that a, a clean tree has not got anything poisonous within it. 24 degrees out in with uh, Brian then in Spain. That no, sounds to too hot, off, Brian. Yeah, too, too, too hot to me. Yeah, you're yeah. showing off now. So we're a meas measly 10 or 11 up here in the UK. If we're lucky. Down south, yeah, today. Well, that's all right. That's uh, well, very nearly there. I'll just do that last little bit on that end, make it completely round. It's getting a few bits of bouncy stuff, so... As expected. Mm. And Douglas Mungham has said he has a wonderful little new bowl with a great grain pattern. Yeah, oh, it's fabulous timber. Absolutely yeah, I fabulous. Think I, I think I know which one that was, Douglas, and welcome. And 
Rob CP is saying the flesh of the dairy of the yew tree is non toxic and is safe to eat. He shared that the other day as well with someone, but uh, or it could have been on with us. I can't remember. Oh, really? What was yes, it's aware of the, that? Um, it's the seed. The, the skin of the seed, right, yeah. That is the poisonous part, which is why the birds can eat it and uh, they dispose of the seed out the other end. Propagate the tree as well. Hmm. I don't want to talk to Doug Miller because it's currently 39.4 in in um, Kentucky. I guess that's F though, not C. Yes, I would think so. Uh, right, here we are. Let's just cut a, a tenon on there. We're not going for a mortise, obviously. Thirty nine F or four C. So it's not ah, warm then. Chilly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Terry Hooper saying yes, he's been foraging and he's eaten the berry flesh and not the pip. But uh, I'm not sure that's uh, a good advert. That's good, I don't think, I a don't bit think like I'd a string risk bean. it. No, he's a bit like a string bean, so I think it's had some effect on him. <laughs> um, yeah, that'll do that nicely. Well, I will just put that little cutout in the middle there, which I know Wayne always does, I always do. Other people say you shouldn't. That's entirely up to them. Yeah, I sometimes do if it's uh, if I'm on the sea jaws because it does hold it, particularly end grain. Like That's that. right, because it's got it's got that that bit mm. sticking out, so we might as well make use of it, in my opinion. Right, I shall get rid of that. Start getting some shape to it then. Great, lovely. Uh, I'll change just for the sake of, just for the sake of a change. I'll go to a normal spindle load uh, gouge. Like we've got a temperature thing going today, then. All oh, right. Yeah. 19C in Queensland, Chris Dodds is telling us, and it's only 8, 11 18 pm. Terry's in from TJ. Hello, Morning, Terry. Terry. Or afternoon, Terry.
We're nearly a third. A little bit more off the bottom, I think. CP's just picked up a commission for a painting then. All right. Uh, yeah, Lawrence Bagasia is after a, a duplicate. Well done, Rob. One of the Cavazio paintings, so you can replace one which have here in the museum or in the church. Thanks in advance. Well done, Lawrence. I'm sure Rob will uh, oblige. It's on water, is it? With the one. Yeah, I'll tell you what to do with the one you've got. <laughs> yeah. I think Lawrence is water, isn't he? I believe so, yes. Yeah. I think that's going to be all right. About like that. See what sort of a state it's in. Oh, a bit rough there, a bit of tear up all the way down there. A little split there, but we're not too worried about that. that I'm just gonna back then. Yeah, just gonna scrape it a little bit. I wouldn't worry too much about the outside until you'd got the inside scuffed out a bit, mate. Because I have found this does tend to move a fraction. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to see what happens to that, that tear up, but yeah, I won't, I won't mm -hmm. be too fussy about it. You've got your baby scraper. Yeah, just me little, me little one. But sometimes this is quite remarkable, and other times it just makes it even worse. Mm. Now, I, uh, I noticed when I did the, the twin last week, that uh, there was a slight movement between inside and outside. Yes, yes, mine was as mm. well. Yep, yep. And Not too bad, uh, but... No. Douglas is asking, could you use a skew at this point? Uh, you could do, Douglas, if it was not so pippy. I think the pips will throw you off more than yeah. uh, actually I wouldn't. enhance the finish. I wouldn't be prepared to risk it, if I'm honest. Mm. Oh, it's, that's improved it a bit. Yeah, yeah, that will work. Okay. So that's all right. We'll save that for later on. Right, now then, we want to do some, drill a big hole in the middle of there, I think. Oh. And I need a ruler to work out what size hole. The top is 60 mil. The bottom is... Pretty much that, which is 60 mil. Well, that's pretty good. Pleased with that. So I think if we go down there 40 mil, mm -hmm. that's going to be somewhere near right. Forty, forty, forty. There it is. Oh, hello. That's 45, get the right one. 40 mil. That's it. <laughs> Ring, phone's ringing. Yep. Not mine. Just, ig just ignore it, it'll go away. Mm. There we are. She's still in, obviously. <laughs> yeah, I'll answer that. <laughs> yep. 
Now then, I'm going to need my extension bar, aren't I? Which I think is the right size. What do I do with the... Yeah, there it is. Yes, it is. There's a bit of luck. It was Amazon. So that's probably one of your deliveries then, mate. Oh, really? Right then. Sorry, fiddling around. I couldn't prepare this before, Hank. I didn't know what size the hole was going to be. I would have gone in with the uh, standard bit first, mate, before putting the extension bar in. Personally, uh, I could do. Stop, stop it whipping quite so much. Yeah, it doesn't. Seems to be quite good this one, but I would just put this screw back in <laughs> before I lose it completely. Yeah. Watch it, guys. He's a screw loose this morning. I should have put my board on the top here, but I found it, so that was all right. Yeah, I can put I can put it in. Just go in with that and, and put the extension bar on in a minute. Ah. It's not it's not a problem. You were trying to be scammed. Well done, Ali. You got this one then. Order for a thousand pound. Oh really? Yeah. Push one to answer. Yep. So oh, that one. Off. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we seem to be getting quite a few of those now. Too many, yes. Yeah, it's coming up to that time of year when people are ordering stuff a little bit early for Christmas and uh, not realising quite what they're uh, letting themselves in for. Webfoot resin and wood. That's David, isn't it? David Eisenhower. He's just joined us. Hello. Hello, David. I'm glad you said that because I can never remember his Christian name. No, you've just joined for the uh, boring bit, uh, David. Yeah, so literally, literally, I, I am. I am boring. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. chance to cool down a little bit so you've got 36 watching and you've got 13 digits poking up so if any of you guys would like to oblige and add in a poking up digit that would be good a few, a few, a few thumbs missing yep yeah perhaps they're just being honest well i don't uh, go too early into this i like to see a bit more of it before i uh, make a judgment at times yes you're yes, right Robert. yeah Robert Dolman is saying, is this with a foot or not? And the answer is, you are possibly right. <laughs> it's, an un it's an unknown question until the very end. We had a discussion beforehand, didn't make a decision, and said, we'll see how it goes. Mm. I, I Personally, I prefer it without a foot. But let's yeah, have a look at was, it. That was my thought as well, but uh, I'm not turning it. <laughs> Well, I don't think we'll be democratic about it. I'll just decide. Mm. <laughs> yes, there won't be a vote on it. Yeah, Ben, you're right. But uh, how many people look at the URL immediately? Uh, and they're on a phone call. It's not quite so easy to uh, distinguish distinguish that. Right. 
right. This is where I burn my fingers. No, that's not hot. <laughs> Can't feel a thing. No, well, I've got my leather glove on. Right then. Mark oh. Stroughton's just popped in to join us. Good oh, afternoon, Mark. Mark. I'm getting hot now. Mm -hmm. It's all this winding you've been doing. It's the boring <laughs> bit. Yep. Well, that should. Ouch, that's hot. Yeah, that's because you've got the glove on the other hand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's never right, is it? Oh, come on. No, that's not. It's not holding anything. Nor is that. So why won't that go in? Oh, blimey! I'm up. The persuader. As long as I've got to hold it, I'm not. <laughs> Didn't have this trouble last time I used this. Oh dear. Oh dear, dear, dear. That's three out of the four little screws have just fallen out. There's one of them. At least I can see it's not right in. Oh dear, this is not good. Is it past the first two screws? No. Oh, uh, yes, it is, yeah. It might hold. So, it might do, yeah, I shall. It's not a massive hole you're a bit drilling. No, no, it's not. Andrew's saying that the metal has expanded a bit because it's hot. Could See, well I have told, done. You, told you I should have put it in first. <laughs> Don't know what you're it's, on about. <laughs> it could well and, be that, Andrew. Yeah, and Chris has joined us from Bailey Woodworks. Hello, Chris. I should go through this sawdust. Oh, there's one. Three of them. One to go. And here it is. And he's cheating because he's on a conference call at work, so he can't chat much, but still watching. That's right. what we like to hear, Chris. I'll give you something to watch in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's see if I can get this in here a bit more. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put it on a, a piece of timber. A piece of timber. Yeah. Right, now then. Let's see how we go with that. Oh, it's moving. It is. It's nearly there. It'll be fun to get it back out again. That's it. That's all for engaging now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't believe that. Oh, no, there they are. <sighs> I thought I'd lost my screws. <laughs> <laughs> right then, let's get these in here and get on with it. Should be a law against little tiny screws. Yeah. Especially when you reach a certain age. <laughs> well, you can actually sort of see what I'm doing, can't you? So it's oh, not yeah. entirely not entirely boring. No, the next it bit will be. be the boring bit. Absolutely. It's our little attempt at humour down at the museum. Mm. The dis display just as you go in is of old bracing bits and what have you. It's got uh, it's got boring tools written on the top. 
which we thought was quite funny. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, then before I do that, let's just see how far, I, how far I think down to about there. So it's just at the top of that tape. That'll do it, won't it? Inch, inch and a bit. Yeah. Left hey. at the bottom. Inch and a bit left at the bottom. That should be right. So it's up to there. To the end of the yellow tape as opposed to the Is black tape. No, it's not. Sorry? What? That's all right. Don't get it stuck in there. <laughs> nope. We're all tempted to go that last half inch and uh Yes, it's one too far, yeah. 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 Oh, How often have you have we done it? And, uh, I think it's just gone on to the hexagonal bit. Yep, it has. Obviously didn't grip it quite in the right place. It was close. Chris Dodds has just added uh, Andy <laughs> dad jokes love them grandkids think I'm strange well <laughs> <laughs> yeah why not <laughs> absolutely oh, I should, I'm looking enough. forward to my, my grandkids being old enough to understand them yeah exactly they're not quite there yet but the oldest one is only three the youngest one is not even one yet no, a few years to go yet. Yes. We're getting there. Getting there, are you? Good. Yeah, it's about um, just over just over a quarter of an inch past the top of that yellow mm -hmm. tape. So, There's a bit of discussion on uh, tight bits in extensions and uh, mm -hmm. knocking them back with glass paper or sandpaper or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I'll let, I'll I'll let, let this all... uh, someone else uh, do that over the road from you, won't you? Absolutely, but I shall yeah. let it cool. Let it cool down and see how how it comes out when it's when it's mm. cool. Because at the moment it's red hot. I think one more little bit, and we'll be about there. Yep, that's it, just there. Yeah, and he's fairly lucky. He's got an, a neighbour who's an engineer or an ex-engineer with a workshop that is uh, yeah. you know, second to none. Absolutely brilliant. He made this um, device for. For, for, yeah. for indexing on on the back of the loaf here. Bless him, and it's lovely. Just keep talking amongst yourselves while that's yeah. cooling down a bit. It's smoking okay. a bit at the moment. Just be careful what you say about Alison's because she's going now. So okay. Looking forward to seeing <laughs> the finish bars. Yeah. Have fun, so Alison. Go easy on the bottom jaw. <laughs> Right, okay. Get rid of that. Push that up there out of the way. Andrew's going back to work. Web foot oh, resin. Some have to do it. I'm so pleased that it's not me. Yeah. Question here who is turning tonight? Well, we're assuming it's um, Rich. Should be Rich, yeah. Yeah, it's his it's his turn too. So, mm. so 
So Rich, that's the Rich, the bed time 16. I haven't all seen I, anything no, on YouTube. Nor have, I, but... nor have I. All I can say is I'm doing next Tuesday both lunchtime and evening. So you're in for some punishment next week. Covering for me because I'm not here. A double dose of me. Get rid of that big one. Put the little one on. Uh, I've lost me a bit of rubber from the end of the handle of this this uh, Simon Hope bit. I took the rubber off to put another handle onto it, and I don't know what I've done with it. Oh, I put mine in a in a box, and I found it out just before the weekend. Yeah, I've been looking, I've been looking for mine, for and it. I can't. Yeah, it, it, it's here somewhere, but mm. um, bloody if I know where. Anyway, I'll put the handle on it now, so makes it comfortable down a bit. Could well be Brent two parter. I'm not sure yet. What this one? No, mine next week. Yours. All oh, right. Yeah. 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 You're going to put us on a camera that we can see what you're doing now, mate. Please. Oh well, I suppose I could. Yeah, because as soon as it's a wood turning demo. Yeah, picky, picky, picky. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've moved the camera because I, I bumped into it. Yeah, and you, you're a bit bleached out on that now. Very white. But you need to see, so put it where I you... Do need, I do need a bit of light in there. Let's try turning that out and see how I am. It's better for you, isn't it? No, it's not because you can't see, mm, in, no, it's can't see inside, can you? Yeah, it's a bit like Calcutta now. Um, can you put it just behind the tool rest or does it not stretch that far? What, the light? Yeah. It is. Put it behind. It's there. It won't stretch any further. Well, oh, what, there? Underneath of it. Yeah, put it underneath of it and shine it yeah, up. Yeah, like, like that. Yeah, that's not quite so I'd... bad for us. I did try it? that. It, yeah, more or less. Yeah. 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 You are you not with one or are you, no? I'm not. Or, no. no. No, I'm not. So you've got to turn it the right way round. Yeah. No, I was I was going to lock it on actually, but I didn't. Thinking about it. Right. Let's um. It's there and there. And that's where we're going down to. Swivel the head round a bit. Yeah, I just can't see a thing. So no, I will. You've got I something will. obscuring the left of the screen. I thought it might have been your head, but it's not. The camera. Like that. That, yeah. <laughs> it's the shutter on the camera. Okay. They're supposed to keep the dirt out or something, but I think that should be enough for me. It's not going to help you at all. But let's drop it down. Drop the camera a bit lower, if yep. you will. 
That's it. We can see enough. If you can work with that. Yeah, I can come around this way a bit. That's better, isn't it? Yeah, but you'll be poking that with your arm in a minute. Possibly. I'm going to come coming through there just underneath it. Yeah, we hands right in the way. So. Oh, that, go up, that go hand. Up a bit in, yeah, go up a bit on the camera. Yeah, yeah, okay. It was a good idea. That's not too Dearly. bad. We can see above it. But about there, yeah. Okay. And then I'll get this ready to give it a bit of suck. If that will go in there, yes, it will. Oh, bums. Well and truly organised today we are, but don't worry about it, guys. Yeah, it's only no, don't worry about it. Yeah, you guess <laughs> what he's going to do in a minute. Once he uh, goes out there and kicks the budgie. Somewhere underneath all this timber is a bit of the hoover. I need one that's not bent. Because that, that thing won't fit to the end of this one. No, it won't fit to that one either. Oh, well, never mind. Oh, I know what I do. I don't use that bit at all. <laughs> okay. Talk amongst yourselves. There we are. He's had a good weekend and he's just recovering. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's it. That's what I wanted to do. He's made it work. Look at that. I tell you, it would be a good idea to fix the um, headstock down again, wouldn't it? Seeing it moving. Right. Okay. Here we mm -hmm. go then. Everybody happy? You're 50 minutes in and uh, we still have a crowd. We have a crowd That's of 34 better. of you watching. Uh, keep going. Those that have to go to work will catch up on it later, I'm sure of that. That's much better. I can see what I'm doing. Oh. I don't want to come through the side particularly. Spoil all our fun. No, the wood's too good for that. Looking good. Oh, it's your phone. Yeah. Sounds like an old fashioned ambulance coming in. It's an international number and it dials every day nearly. So I don't bother to answer it. And, uh, I yeah. don't turn it off and it just keeps doing it. It doesn't cost me anything. It's frustrating at times. You'd think they'd get the hint in the end, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's computer computer generated, that's the problem. Yeah, yeah. Computers unfortunately have endless patience. Hmm. I don't know what patience is, do they? Uh. Douglas. Ah, hang on a minute. Have I misread that? Are the What's holders that? for the cutters available on their own? The drill bits, cutters, or the cutter that Ang is using now, the Hope 6 mil cutter? Can you clarify, please? Yeah, I'm not aware there are. I mean, you can buy new, new blades. New yeah, cutters for the end. New cutters but are uh, readily available. But I don't know if the... But the, I mean, it's a very simple piece if you know an engineer who could manufacture it. It's a 
very simple little little piece that goes in the end that holds the blade. Lawrence is saying he bought them from eBay. Okay, the coat. Hope cutters, just the little holders. The very end piece, I imagine so you're the, talking the, the about, six, Douglas. The six six mil bit the, that goes in the end. The little yep. um, little shab, stub shaft. Yeah, it's about three inches long, I think, and six oh, seventy five mil long and about six mil in diameter, mm. roughly. I don't. I've not. I've never seen them, but. No, I can't say I have. And I can't imagine that Simon would put them on uh, eBay on their own if he hasn't got them on his site. I did put a new blade in this today. Because I could. I'm sorry, Douglas, I can't answer that one, but Lawrence is saying yes, they are. So, okay. All right. Okay. I know they do a um, straight and a, a, a bent one. Do the what for this? Yeah, for this tool. Yes. Yeah, the right, bent okay. one. The bent end is available separately, but I don't know that the straight one is. I can't see why it shouldn't be. Well, yeah. Right, clean that out. Let's see what we're doing. Okay, it's quite a bit more needed around there. It's getting there. Right. It's not all bad. Sometimes I can't see down the bottom. Um, I think I may be ruining your picture in a minute. Don't worry so about get, it. I've got to get a decent light in there. Yep. So I put me big one down here. Oh, I've moved the camera now. Apart from that, right, that's shining right down to the bottom now. I can see what I'm after. That can come down there next to it. I know my hand will be in the way. Somewhere there? Yeah, I mean, uh, if you, you need to see what you're doing. We can yep. guess what you're doing. We can see the shavings coming out, so we know you're working. No, stop it. Terry Hooper's escaping. Back off to Bye. do something. Bye, Terry. Hopefully see you Sunday, Terry. Down at the club, we've got a club yes, meeting. Yes, I, I shan't be there, unfortunately. You're too open. I can I can almost yeah, guess I'll try. what you're doing. You've got to go I've, in at 45 degrees yeah, or I've, less. I am 45. If, if been, it was, yeah, it was about 45, but no, I can't get it in there. <coughs> it's funny how with this tool, it's got such a small cutter. If you do get it jammed or get a catch, it will pick up that catch nearly every time. Yeah, yeah, it just doesn't like going past it, does it? No, no. Get rid of all the rubbish out of the way so I can see it. Let's see if I can see what I'm doing. Hello. Well, it has achieved something down there. It's cut its own great. thread in the bottom. Yeah, it's not great. <laughs> um, I could try the slightly bigger swan neck one. 
Don't really want a swan neck in the bottom, do you? You want a Not really. One? No. Uh, ah, no, Rich is in the beard time sixteen. Aha! We can find out about tonight then. Yeah. Uh, you've been asking what you're doing tonight, Rich, because there's as I as we started, there was no uh, no link on Facebook or anything. If you have a ah, oh, stop it. If you have a link on Facebook, let us know and I can see if I can grab it and paste it in. I'm having trouble with this. Yeah, you're just picking up the wrong side of the centre at the bottom, that's why. It's throwing it round. Well, I'm on the left-hand side of it. You think... Um... No, I can see it. You can see it, can you? Yeah, yeah. That's better. I was possibly a little bit low. Nope, that's not going there. That's, <coughs> I think that may have got what I wanted to get. Right, Rich is on. He's making a scroll saw Christmas decoration that people can sell. Jolly good. So, have you put a uh, link up anywhere, Rich? Right, I'm getting there now. Well done, Pete. Um, Pete's saying to Douglas that if you go to the Come and Hope website. There is the bottom of the page. The cutter holder is twenty pound. Cheers, Pete. Sorted. Good on you, Rich. No link up yet, but he's going to do it while we're on now. So that, okay, uh, lovely. We can advertise it a bit for him. Beginning to remember why I don't do many of these. Because mm. it's a bit boring for the watching people. Yeah, it's not. It's not inspiring for anybody, really, is it? No, no. I think that might be somewhere. God, I'm sweating here. Take my jacket off. I could turn the heater off, couldn't I? Could do. Oh, it's not on. <laughs> it turned itself off. Ben's put a question in there. Can anyone remember the name of the wood turner that would always make hollow forms with a black finial that looks a little like a beer tap? No. Yeah, that would be the answer that I was going to put in there as well. The only one that I know that does hollow forms with black finials, but not necessarily like a beer tap, is Stuart Mortimer. Right, so that is... 13 mil thick down the bottom up to about 15 and then back to 10 at the top so a little bit more to come off yet
take it off quite nice and fast, isn't it? Yeah, too fast at times. Yes, yeah. Keep checking. We'll do that. Just over the hour turning, Andy. All right, I'm feeling every minute of it. Yeah, you can have a, have a fortnight off. Yeah. Go, and, go and annoy Scotland. I'm very nearly happy with that. It's, it's thicker at the bottom, but I don't mind that because that gives it a little bit more weight, a bit more stability. But you can still take a bit off the outside to make it the same thickness. I could, I could indeed do that. <laughs> yes, there's plenty there. So, <laughs> and that's that's not looking too bad up the top here. I just want to just take a little bit off there. Lets you know if you're not quite at the right angle, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, particularly with those little pips in there. Right, I think that might be that might be about there then. Yeah, a little bit of smoothing off to do, but that's. That's not bad. Whew. Mop my brow. to that. Right, Brent's off. Thanks, Brent, for stopping by. And Chris Dodds has just woken up after six minutes and mentioned the beer tap. A good idea, he says, Chris. Lovely job. Stuart Ingrule is late. Have you missed much? Uh, only an hour's worth, Stuart, but <laughs> that's all. nothing that you can't catch up on later. We've still got the uh, delicate bit of finishing it to come, so you could, you could still be in for nearly half an hour. Oh, yes. This isn't a rush job. A bit of timber is too nice to rush, if I'm honest. Well, you don't really want to spoil it, do you now? No. no. Well, that's nice. That's good. Okay. I think sand it. What have we got left on? I keep, keep putting this away, don't I? Mm. Not like me. All right. So. Yeah, it's a little bit, a bit thick down there. Well, I think. I think it's going to make a mockery of the shape if I do it on the outside. So it's about there. Right, okay. Mm -hmm. 
John Ends, not quite as uh, late as some people, but uh, he's joined us. Hello, John. I'm sure we get someone else to follow you in, mate. John and uh, Stuart, it is a, uh, a vase. That should and be somewhere Robert near. Robert Goldman's got to disappear. have the link in 10 are you still likely to be going on yes rich yeah it's okay i misread that yes gonna be at least 10 minutes oh yes <laughs> at least at least yeah yep and it's got that's got that quite nice now the thickness is fairly even all the way down so that's where it's going to stay i can have a little attempt at sanding inside there oh. Oh, pardon me. Dun, 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 dun. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm trying to remember what I did last. Time, so that was it. That's what I did. It's Keith Burns. It's not a name. You're going to turn the extractor on then, or you're going to. Be yeah, brave. I could do. I could do. Yeah, oh, as, it's, we as to, is you. We need a big uh, sign that says extractor somewhere. <laughs> yeah, and cover keyboard. It's Keith Burns. Um, it's not a name that I recognise, Ben, but uh, I might have recognised the uh, forms if I saw them without realising who it was. And John's asking, how is everyone today? I think we can say we're all gorgeous, pretty good. Gorgeous, thank you, John. Yeah. Just gorgeous. Mm. We have bright sun down in West Sussex over in the UK. After what we had, some heavy spells of rain over the weekend once or twice not as how bad as what they've had up north how did we ever manage with our velcro that's what i want to know mm. John's complaining it's just above freezing over in uh, Ontario, Canada. Canada. Oh, really? Yeah. Just above freezing. Oh, we're way above that. I yeah. We weren't last night, though. We were just about one yeah. degree C here. And it was only 10, 11 as we went live. So it's well, still a it's tad warm. nippy. I don't know if it's warmed up this afternoon or whether it's just because I'm working. Well, you're standing there poking at a bit of wood. Yeah, that's that's that's, oh. what, that's working for me. I'm retired, okay. remember? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's showing 10.1 outside. So it hasn't warmed up much. It must be the blood moving around a bit faster in you, mate. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> Well, at least it's still moving, I suppose that's something. Yeah, yeah. But it was a tad nippy here first thing when I went out. Yes, it was this morning, yeah. Yeah. Oh.
It is English U, John. It is. The Very same. Best. Yeah, same tree as what the twins were born out of last week on our lives, Andy and myself did. So it does have spectacular pippin on one side. It's a little bit bland on the other side. Yeah, it's a little bit bland down there, but I mean, look at that. You know, yeah. If you can well, that see was it. the back. Oh, yeah, just, bit, yeah. Yeah, just about, yeah. Mm. Absolutely stunning. So, no, this won't get coloured. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not. Get my fingers in as far as I can. As far as you want to risk. Yes. Because we've just I did said make sure not being coloured. I did make sure I'd taken that sharp edge off there, off mm. the rim first. Because that cuts through the webs in your fingers very quickly. Yes, doesn't it? You only do it once. Yeah. And intentionally. Yes. <laughs> Well, that's 320. Which I wasn't going to do, but I've done it, so that's all right. So what are you on now then? 400? Yeah. I would have that, stuck the hoover in there before I put the 400 in, if it was me. Because you've got quite big chips in right. there, if you're not careful. Yeah, I was doing it with you, the wrong side, of, wrong side of the glass paper anyway, so, so, so we're all right. <laughs> yeah, so you, you're back to 15,000 now, then. <laughs> and the reason I suggested that, Andy over it out is because those little brown pips are quite hard if you actually get that caught between the abrasive and the wood you can uh, yeah certainly score it with those i'm just going to do a little bit more i'm not going to take the mounting off the bottom today because i'm going to do a bit more inside i want to refine it a bit oh. when I've, when I've, when I've got no pressure so that 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 will do me for that. I should go back on the outside now and sand that. Yeah, it's all right. She's just having a, a session on the phone and I can't kill it. I've got a big hammer if you want. Yeah. Yeah, that's better. Let's just increase the thickness at the bottom a little bit.
No, I wasn't wrestling with a bear. Ben was wrestling with the phone <laughs> to try and get it to get it to die, but it wouldn't. Uh, Yeah, I wish it was, Chris. <laughs> Someone wanted to give me some uh, money. <laughs> yeah, no chance. It was uh, Buddy BT telling me they've uh, discontinued a, an, an email account. I'd already had a ch um, an email from this morning to say that they're disconnect disconnecting it, discontinuing it. That's fine. Yeah. I haven't used it for about six, ten years. That's oh, what right. I didn't well, want anyway. I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd actually disconnected it my end, but uh, unfortunately yeah. they still wanted to use, want, thought I was using it. Hmm. And when you want to get through to BT, you never can. Nope. Oh dear. Hey ho. The outside of this I might do with Yorkshire Grit, I suppose. And then just spray the inside with lacquer. So John N is saying he's had a chunk for a bit. But I've been a bit nervous about using it for some reason. This has given him inspiration along with other turners. So thank you. Is that just having it sticking out from the chuck this far? Is that what you're uh, talking about? Uh, I because think so, it possibly no, is. No worries. With with Those sea jaws are fantastic. They, 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 this is not going anywhere. It's only, what, nine inches, eight inches, something like that. Eight inches, I think it was. I don't think we yeah. actually measured it. Yeah. No, it's, it, I put it in the description, didn't I? It was 100 by 100 by 200. Right. So, yeah, it's about 195 now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah. But, I mean, it's absolutely solid. It's not. It's absolutely not going anywhere. That's lovely. Look at that grain. <sighs> Sanding sealer. So do you want to turn off the end light and uh, so this that one? it's not quite bleaching it and go to a more of uh, the back and camera turn now. that one off as well? Yeah, that's a better better yeah. colour rendition. But uh, let's, let's, let's go to this one. That's better. Look at that. And that's without any sanding sealer yet. I'll just turn this extractor off. It's too noisy. Hmm. If I won the, the lotto, Ben, um, what lathe would I get? I don't know. I've, I don't need to look because at the moment I'm quite happy with the pole wood that I've got. That does all that I need it to. It's got reverse. It's a three-phase motor on it, driving it. So um, do I need to change it? I, th I thought about this the other day, funnily enough, and... Um, I think I would probably buy the same lathe as I've got now because I really like it. Mm. And it's I a really, it's a nice place to be when you're happy with what you've got, isn't it? Yeah, I can't buy the same lathe because they've gone out of business now. Yeah, yeah. But, um, I'm quite happy with what I've got. It does what I need to do. Mm. It's more than stable for what I put on it. It doesn't object to anything that I do with it, and the only possible True. improvement I might make is probably to go for the next one up, the 500 and whatever it is. Right. The one that Brian, Brian and Terry have both got, haven't they? Uh-huh. Yeah. That's only got longer capacity, isn't it? And it's, 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 de it's more depth. More depth, is it? Yeah. From, from the bed to the, uh, to the centre, yeah. Um, it's about 500 mil instead of 400. This is 400. Right. It's only 50, 50 mil different. But, um, but I, I, you know, it's a slightly bigger motor on it. But um, I'm really very happy with what I've got. Mm. So, 
So what's the point in changing it? Yeah. I got We've me got last some bit. Nice comments coming in, mate. Oh, good. It's That's a gorgeous, gorgeous piece of wood. Yeah, Look beautiful colours, Andy. That's fantastic. Really nice, Andy. Mark's just joined us. Yorkshire git. And a bit of, bit of Hampshire sheen just to spread the love. Mm-hmm. Oh, hello. That didn't quite work. Right, there's a link in there for Richie's live tonight. Lovely. Yes, I should. I should watch it. Really, I, I'm not into scroll soaring, and I feel as though it's my lacking, my, my lack rather than anything else. And I really should take more interest in it. Yeah, I'm. I don't always watch all of it, but then again, I don't always watch all of all the lives straight away. No, no. I know I can go back and check up on it later. Yep. And inevitably, when you're dealing with timber, anything you do is, is a bit repetitive. Like this has been, you know, some parts of this. Mm. So it's good to be able to go back and just look at the bits you want to look at. Or you nod off and you think, oh, I don't seem to remember watching that bit. And uh, yeah. it's easy done. So you, the tubes is quite good for this. Um, at least you can get back in. Yes. Right, so. I missed Mark last night. I uh, I was doing other things and uh, I thought, well, at least I can go back and watch it again today. So I've got yes, no I idea did. what you did last night, Mark, but I will watch milk it a install. bit later. Oh, it was, right, it was the milk install. Yeah, okay. yeah. And just, just one leg. Right. The, the idea of going well, back to finish it today, I think. The milk, some of the old, uh, the original milk installs only had one leg in the middle anyway. They did. Saving so getting lazy. Yep. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, nice comments coming in. Rob's been preparing tea while watching. A bit early, Rob, unless it's uh, yeah. a really delicate tea, but uh, there you go. Very nice, Andy. Why have you asked? Andrew's asked, what are you having, Rob? Yeah, let's get the important things sorted. Mm. I'm not sure what yes. I'm doing for tea. I'll think about that afterwards. Alison, not home then. She was, she's at a meeting at the moment. She had to yeah. go out. But I always do the cooking anyway. Okay. She's not a she's not a not a, not a cookist. Okay. Ben if if I didn't cook and, uh, he almost always falls asleep during the evening lives and then wake up to uh, some random video that YouTube <laughs> has moved on to. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've done yeah. that before now. Been there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. And it's his right. wife's call. It's a mince dinner, uh -huh. Andrew. So there you go. We all know what Rob's doing for lunch, for dinner tonight. Yes, I, I've got to see what I've got. But we'll find something to eat. Mm. I can't remember what we've, uh, what I've been allocated. Three veg and something, so I've been meat, meat and three veg. Oh, blimey. But, uh, yeah, I she know. She spoils you. She spoils you. 
Alice is lucky if she gets one bitch from me. No, uh, it's uh, I, I've got green uh, green time bombs. Uh huh. Yeah, or better known as sprouts. <laughs> That's building up a nice uh, shine to it, mate. It is. It's coming up nicely now. And there it is. Just buff it with my safety cloth because I happen to have one here. These do polish up this nicely. These chestnut safety cloths. Mm -hmm. they're, they're not. They're not as cheap as they might be, but no. But they do a very nice job. I came across the packet of them the other day. That's why I've got one out. <laughs> <coughs> I'm not uh, not reading uh, daughter's comment. You can read it for yourself. <laughs> and John sends. I John, love John green butt plug. Bombs. No, it's not, Lynn. No, it's not. No, <laughs> I love green time bombs. I don't mind a few, but uh, <laughs> I, like, I like them. I must say, and, and my daughter was always obsessed with them. Uh, oh, I left the vacuum cleaner on. I wonder what that noise was. <laughs> I, didn't you realise you left it on? No. <laughs> oh, silly man. Um, right, well, I'm going to take it off the lathe and show it to you now. And we'll call that it for now. I'm not going to, as I say, I'm not going to finish the box. I'm not going to part it off yet because I just want to do a bit more work on the inside, but the outside is looking gorgeous. So, come back over here, dust my seat off, change the camera, and bring Keith back in. I'll show oh, you no. that first. Yeah. Look at that shine. Important shot. bits. Yeah. It's gorgeous, and, and that grain. Look at that side Give there. The pips I mean, on that, yeah. It's unbelievable. And I should not have a foot on it. It's going to be parted off there. And that will be it. And it's, there's I plenty agree of weight with that. In it. Plenty of weight in it. And, uh, right, you're all respectable. Yep. Oh, no, add to stream. I just pressed the wrong button, but don't worry about okay. it. Okay, close. Yeah, close. I'll, I'll, give you, I'll give you a long, thin one. There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. No one really oh, wants yeah. to see that much. Oh, take them off. Rich isn't too keen on sprouts either, then. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, a lot of people aren't. No. They're all right. If you, if you cook them for three weeks, they're fine. <laughs> it's just the smell in the kitchen at the end of it after yeah. three yeah, it's weeks. The way, it's <laughs> like cabbage as well, isn't it? You know, it's yeah. a, anything, those sort of, that sort of ilk. No, so there we are. That's it. One rather nice vase. I refuse to call it a vase. It's a vase because I'm English. I'm proud of it. You may have noticed. But that is lovely. Thank you, Keith. It's okay, my pleasure. For the timber. And you've got no chance of that, Ben. I'll answer that, that without even putting that to Andy. <laughs> <laughs> no chance at all. <laughs> I don't care whether the sun's come up or not. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, there are certain uh, things which are fixed in this world, and that's why. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've got to save my energy for it's a long it's a long drive up to Scotland, you know, pedalling all that way. Mm. And it's uphill. Yeah. yeah. It is going up there, yeah. Coming back it's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Grand used to cook them in sugar. Sprouts that presumably, yeah. Yes, we're on sprouts yeah. at the Actually, moment. I think my, my grand used to put some sugar in with it. Just not, not that much. And the same with peas. Always used to put sugar in with peas. So. Again, it's a vegetable that, uh, yeah, I can do. I can live without yeah, peas. We have we have a lot of peas. We like okay. peas, but um, they're very easy to cook, especially frozen ones. That is gorgeous. So yep. looking at it, looking at it closely, yes, it's absolutely uh, stunning. He's proud of what he's done, and he's done the oh. done that lump of wood justice as well. I just that's same really as lovely. The, same as the plate we did last week, I think. Yeah, yeah, that took some finishing, but it did turn out well. Mm. That plate, mm. yep. And the pictures are on Facebook if if nobody's seen them, if anybody hasn't seen them. But uh, yes, showing me underneath up. underneath as well, just to prove that you can remove all signs of of a, of a mounting 
even though it was a mortis. Just just to prove that point. Not yeah, that it needs no, proving, really, but... I haven't I mean, yet, but I might do. And Doug Miller saying that Alison has already claimed it, Andy. <laughs> it's, it's sitting <laughs> on top of that big oak one I did on the dining table at the moment. I think we're doing alternate weeks or something, but we'll see. <laughs> so, yes. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're an hour and a half in. Mm -hmm. That's not Still too bad. 23 I'm, I'm... watching you. Several of them have gone back to uh, to work. If I just tickle it up on the inside, that's going to be lovely. Yeah, be perfect. That's good. Lovely. Thank you very much. Mark, <coughs> put in chocolate coated chocolate coated sprouts for the trick and treaters. Yes, what a good yeah, idea. Make, yeah, make them suffer. Yeah, <laughs> um, who said that? <laughs> uh, well, nice mark re nice remarks there andy yes Good yes one, mark. like yeah. the look of that andy yeah yep thank you oh, once, it's, uh, once it comes off and we chopped off the base and there'll be pictures up yeah <clears throat> yes great, I'll, great uh, live yeah. chaps thank you i'll get it finished and and it will be up on facebook um what's today tuesday tuesday so by, by thursday at least it's got to mm. be because I'm going. I'm going away Friday morning, so it's got to be. So, so as Andy's <coughs> away, I mentioned it before. I don't know what I'm doing next week, but I'm doing lunchtime and evening on yep. the Tuesday. Keith is fully responsible between now and the twenty third. Yeah, yeah. Unless That's I my next one co-op someone else in. Yeah, but uh, yep. that will be down yeah. to me. One, two, three, four, five, six opportunities, five opportunities to watch you in the next two weeks. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure everybody will enjoy that. <coughs> Excuse me. You naturally is that colour, John. Um, yeah. Depending where it's grown, we had a little conversation earlier on. If it's grown on chalk or limestone, it does tend to be lighter than this, that which was grown on sandstone come low a bit like that so, yeah pale a bit but also this 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 vase is completely heartwood because the, the sap wood is very very pale that was branch some, wood yeah you can see some around the outside the, the the sap wood is is a very white color which is a lot of the attraction of, of you <laughs> mm. to be honest because it still finishes well so it's sap yeah wood. oh yes both of them do. beautifully yeah mm. Yeah, so, there's a warn uh, warning in there for you for next week. Don't eat the haggis from uh, Chris Dodd. Oh, I love haggis. Spoken oh, like yeah. a true, true uh, Aussie. <laughs> Aussie. I should be searching it out, Chris. <laughs> I love it. We had, we had a job to find it last time we were in Edinburgh. We found one restaurant that did it as a starter, but nobody did it as a main course, which was really strange. But I love haggis. We, we bought one home with us and cooked it ourselves. It ran behind the car coming back. Ben Jamin says that's a very nice piece of view. It's usually not that pretty. I would, I mean, this is a burr, so of course it's got extra figure. Yeah. But any any you is 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 usually very attractive, and it finishes beautifully. You know, it's it's a fairly dense timber. You get a really nice finish on it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, some of it can <coughs> look. A little bit more bleach than what that does. The same as what that little banana bowl that uh, you held yeah. up. But uh, most of the time, you is quite, quite figurative. That's a, that's a slightly more pale piece. Um, one of my Christmas trees, um, which has got the the, the sapwood showing. Um, but it all finishes up lovely, beautifully. And you often get that grey or sometimes purple bit between the sapwood and the and the, and the heartwood. Which is always always worth doing, you know, and and knots knots. And I don't count knots as a blemish on you because they, they really add to it. There's, there's one underneath there, which uh, it's rather nice. And that was one just just pratting about <laughs> a miniature one. Didn't want to waste it. No, absolutely. But that yeah. had that had a huge chunk missing out of it, in line with where that 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 knot is there underneath mm -hmm. was was all rotted away 
So it had to go down to this size to get anything stable. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so I thought that'd be fun. Hang it on the tree. No problem. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Hmm. If there are no questions. No, everyone's on um, haggis, neeps, think, and tatties at the moment. Yeah, I think you might be lucky to get it in Ontario, but um, but you might do. I'm not sure they can swim neeps, that far, yeah. but uh, you know, neeps, you never know. Yeah, Sidley, it's neeps and N W P S, neeps and yeah. tatties, which are potatoes and parsnips or, or turnips, depending on which who, who you're talking to. But um, but uh, it's very nice. But it is a lovely piece of of view, as as Ben said. Thank you. Good. Okay, doke. Well, if that's it, I shall end the broadcast. Say thank you very much for coming in to watch. I don't know how many we had at the end. Twenty-one watching now. Twenty-one. I think we went up to thirty-six at one time. I'm not sure. Well, that's good. That's good. That's yeah, good. that's not bad for, for lunchtime. For lunchtime, that's yeah. right. And people have got to go to work. So, uh, so yeah, no, that's that's excellent. Thank you very much, everybody. And thanks for staying to the end. Those of you who are still with me. Well, there's twenty-one still with us. So uh, yeah, absolutely. That's it. So <coughs> thanks, guys. Um, <coughs> thank you, John. I'll try to have I'll a safe journey. Yeah, I believe Scott and Wayne have swapped this week. So Scott's doing Wednesday evening and Wayne's doing Thursday evening, I believe. Oh, but I know Scott's not doing one. Wednesday, yeah. Yeah, I think they've swapped. Right. I believe that's what it was, but I'm not 100% certain. But uh, and, and Rich is still here as well, so that's a bonus. Yeah, he's still here. Yeah. <laughs> we've, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm going to watch you tonight. Yeah, we've we've put you in, Rich. And uh, just to prove it, there you are again. When it comes up, it's up on uh, time. YouTube. There it is. That's Rich's link for tonight, guys. So go over there and give him a bit of stick. I mean, give him a bit of love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, I will certainly try to be there, Rich. Thank I you very be much. There, for coming. But not necessarily all the time, but I will be there some of the time. Yeah, I should so. probably be out in the workshop finishing this vase off, mm -hmm. but, uh, but I shall have it on and, and watch it as and when I can. So, good. Okay. I'll say goodbye to everybody. Say goodbye, Keith. I'll say goodbye to everybody and bye, Keith. And Thanks, bye, Andy. Bye, bye me. <laughs> and I will see Andy in uh, three weeks' time. Because he's away for a fortnight. Bring that microphone up to you. Okay, right, yeah, but uh, <laughs> yeah. live. But live, yes, um, actually. It'll be three yeah. weeks. Yeah. Um, so, withdrawal symptoms, everyone. Um, but yep. uh, sorry, but you're going to poke up with me if you come so I'll over. I'll see you on, on Tuesday the 23rd in the evening. That's my next date with mm -hmm. Destiny. And I've no idea what I should be doing, but I should be doing something exciting. I'm quite sure. Good. There you go. Cheers, then. <coughs> yeah. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody.